Mysteries Weird and Strange, number 6, March 1954. Superior Comics. Precode Horror Comic Book. <music> Greetings, friends. Today we are looking at the classic precode horror comic book, Mysteries Weird and Strange, number 6, published in September of 1954 by the Canadian company Superior Publishers Limited. From 1947 to 1956, Superior Publishing produced dozens of different comic book titles and a total of 443 issues during that nine-year period. Their pre-code horror titles included Strange Mysteries, Mysteries Weird and Strange, and Journey into Fear. All of the art in these titles were done by Jerry Iger's famous Iger Shop, which consisted of such artists as Jay Disbrow, Matt Baker, Ken Battafield, Robert Webb, and writer-editor Ruth Roach, among others. Igershop worked as a factory producing perhaps a dozen comic books a month for various publishers in other titles such as Haunted Thrills, Voodoo, Mysterious Adventures, Strange Fantasy, Fantastic Fears, and more. Typically, no specific artist is credited with a story because many artists worked on specific things related to a story in a factory-like setting. The countdown to terror has begun. The signal's getting stronger now. It won't be long. Come quick! monster that ate my pappy. Do you really think this was a bear duck? Highly unlikely. First man on Mars. Once Wait he was human. There's something shiny in the rock. This is really starting to sting. Now a bloodthirsty monster killing and devouring the young. And not so innocent. Let's take a look at this, huh? I'm gonna blast the thing back to hell. Oh, shit. First man on Mars. You mean there's aliens out here? Shit. I don't want to get ducted in anal. This film is not rated. We begin with Mysteries Weird and Strange number 6 from March of 1954. While the copy I have is coverless, it is complete, so we can take a good look at all of the stories herein. All of these synopses are taken from Comic Book Plus, a great website you need to check out for fantastic digital reproductions of these pre-code horror comics. Howling Horror Synopsis On a trip to the mountains, writer Adam Hunt makes the acquaintance of lonely Vicki Barstow. Something is uncanny about her, because she keeps dogs with men's names. Next up, Swamp Vengeance Synopsis Trouble in the bayous. Jake Kern kills a man for some precious animal pelts, but is blackmailed by eyewitness Bell. Kern murders her too by throwing her to the alligators. Bell, however, returns as a vengeful ghost. And here is a text story called The Kill, which is two pages long. Synopsis. 
A sentenced man sneaks back into the courthouse to stab the judge who punished him. The judge's chair comes to life and crushes the evildoer. <laughs> the next story is Evil Disguise. Synopsis. Sam wants to give his friend Tom a scare. He asks him to come to the cemetery, where he's ordered some actors to appear in costume. The men are confronted with real fiends from the grave. Death's Rehearsal Synopsis Peter Edison wants to commit the perfect crime. With the help of his attorney, Tom Ferris, he plans a murder scenario for his philandering wife. But does he know that Ferris is the man that his wife is seeing? And that wraps up Mysteries Weird and Strange number 6. In part 2, we will look at Strange Mysteries number 7, from September of 1954. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.